Ladies and gentlemen, the Dungeons 4 Season 4 are now available for testing on the PTR. I went and did Asia Vault on there and I had some very interesting finds that are not necessarily good, unfortunately. If you played that dungeon during Season 1, it was famous with the numerous skips that you could perform at some points of the dungeon to change the routing. The easiest and most natural one was after you kill the second boss, you just turn around, run back, go to that platform that you came from and run to the edge on the left side, dropping down, killing two mobs and getting to the third boss. However, this does not work anymore, as you jump off the edge, you instantly die. Obviously they fixed that and there was another skip that you can do by going back to the ring platforms and jumping down from there using immunities, uh, the parasol toy, etc. But apparently they fixed that as well and if you jump off the platform there, you die. Which means that basically no skips are allowed in this dungeon. That means a couple of things. First, the dungeon becomes linear and you would have to do the trash that we usually skip involving the guys that charge you and the frogs jumping around the minefields in the corridors after the second boss. We would also have to adjust our routes because you would have to kill some trash there which means that you would have to skip trash in the beginning of the dungeon including some of the pools that you trigger by the whelplings, skipping patrols and extra groups around the rings. And that is something that we basically never did during Season 1 because we just didn't like this area and we wanted to skip it. So let me know what do you guys think about this change, do you like it or do you hate it? I'm personally not a big fan because the only appeal that Asia Vault used to have was the option to choose different skips and alter the route of the dungeon which seems not to be the case anymore. Let me also mention one other big change, it involves the last boss of the dungeon and the miasma debuff that you would get and it will slow you down once you start moving is completely gone which is actually awesome. The compensation for that is that the orbs that spawn and chase you around supposedly can move further away from their original design but that doesn't matter a lot because you can move freely now so you can dodge them easily without worrying too much about your positioning and the amount of stacks that you have. And while this is a positive change, the other big difference is that when the boss phases at certain percentages and summons the crystals, actually there's only one crystal right now. It has a shield and while the shield is active, it's actually doing heavy damage to your party. It's early days and probably a lot of tuning is going to happen, but right now the damage seems to be quite significant, much more than the other AoE that the boss does, although the amount of the shield doesn't seem to be huge either. We'll see what's going to happen, but this is definitely going to spice up the fight for healers on high tyrannical keys, especially if the DPS is slow to switch to the crystal and burst through the shield. Anyway, that's my update for Asia Vault so far on the PTR. Do keep in mind that everything is subject to change and will probably change a lot before the season goes live. If you want to watch the full footage of some of these runs, check my secondary channel where I upload these runs or my stream on Twitch as I plan to continue testing these dungeons along with other healers there as well. Links are in the description of this video, thanks for watching and I'll get out of here.